So the first thing that we're talking about here is how to set up the bar for an efficient squat. What we're seeing in this video here is how that we actually move the J-hook within the squat rack. We're gonna give it a slight turn and then place it at our desired height. The first place I like to start is about your shoulder height. From there, in your warm-up sets, you can adjust it as you might need to. Once we've set the bar up at the desired height as a rough starting guide, we're gonna go up to the bar and set our hands about a thumb width away from the knurling there. From here, we're going to come into the bar and unrack. What we really wanna make sure of here, guys, is that the bar is in the middle of the J-hook position. What that does is it allows us to, as we finish our set, go back to a much more supported position and a much safer position as well. We're going to complete a three-step walkout and find a nice comfortable foot position for us to begin squatting. As we come back up, we're going to use this repetition as a guide. And as you see me walking into the J-hook, I'm making sure that the bar sits nice and tight in the middle of the hook. This is going to prevent us from having to wobble or awkwardly re-rack the bar that could result in an unsafe squat. When you unrack the bar, it's going to determine the feel for the rest of your set. So if we have a really awkward setup in the rack, it's going to mean that your set is really awkward. And when we re-rack the bar at your most fatigued positions, you're going to be quite unsafe because you might be hitting the hooks on either side. So use these tips, guys. Feel free to tag your friends in the comments. Feel free to ask any further questions. I'm happy to get back to you. But please use these tips, guys, and we can make sure that we're all squatting safely together. Thanks for tuning in.